How to make a mod in Minecraft server using Forge. Let's get started. First things first, you want to go to Google and search for Minecraft Forge Download. When you do, it will take you to here, files.minecraftforge.net. And once you're on this page, we can see that right now, MC 1.21.6 is automatically selected. If it's not, you can simply select it from the left-hand side. Then come under Installer and click the Installer button. When you do, it will take you off to Add Focus, where you don't want to click anything on this page. Just wait about 10 seconds, and then in the top right, you will see a Skip button, and that's what you want to download. If you get prompted like that to download something else, cancel it. You only want to download something when you click this red Skip button in the top right. And when you do, it will prompt you, and you can see Forge and the .jar at the end there. That means this is the Forge file we want, so we can go ahead and click Save there. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and what we want to do is create a new folder on our desktop. So right click, create a new folder on the desktop, and name it modded 1.21.6 server. And we want to find that Forge file we downloaded because we're going to be using it to get the files into this folder. So we go to downloads here, we have Forge. We can double click on this. If for whatever reason you can't open this, it's because you need Java. Just Google Java download and download that. Then we can come in here, click on install server. You're going to get this red box. Click the three dots in the red box. Go to your desktop and select that modded 1.21.6 server folder you created. The red box will disappear and click OK and now Forge will download and install. Now while this is installing, I want to mention the easiest way to make a Minecraft server and that is our company Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown to XYZ slash simple to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server where you can one click hundreds of mod packs. It's super easy to get a mod pack installed and there's even expert live chat support there to help you out along the way. So don't struggle to host a Minecraft server and start a Minecraft server the simple way without having to worry about your own computer's resources, your own internet connection, anything like that, because it's all taken care of for you at Simple Game Hosting. So go to the first link in the description down below to break down to XYZ slash simple to get a Minecraft server up and running in minutes with unlimited player slots, like I said, live chat support, and tons of amazing features all included with just one price. But nevertheless, at this point, our Forge server should be set up. So we can go back here and we can see, because we downloaded Minecraft server and installed Forge, we can click OK, and we can actually close out of our downloads folder and delete this Forge file from it, because all we need now is to open up the modded server folder. In here, we can go ahead and double click on this run file. Now, this is a run Windows batch file. So if it says Windows batch file next to it, double click on it and it's going to attempt to start your server. Now, this will fail because we need to agree to the Minecraft EULA. So press any key to continue and now we have this EULA.txt file. Open it up in Notepad and assuming you agree to the Minecraft EULA, which we do, we can change EULA equals false to EULA equals true. T-R-U-E exactly like that. Go ahead and click File, Save, and now when we double click on that run.bat file again, it will open up and start the server. Now, at this point, we can join the server, but you will need to Forge installed locally if you don't have it already. No worries, you can use that same file that we downloaded previously to get Forge installed locally, and then you'll be able to join the server using it. So we can see I already have Forge installed. If you don't, again, you can install client instead of install server and the installer we used earlier and you will be able to have Forge in your Minecraft and thus be able to join the server. When your friends join the server, they will also need Forge and any mods you add to the server will need to be installed locally with your local Forge installation as well as on the server. Unfortunately, that's just a limitation of modded Minecraft and I will show you what I mean by that really quickly here towards the end. But now we go to multiplayer, we can click proceed and once we've done that, we can add a server. We're going to name this local connection. You're the only person that can join your server right now, and the server address you're going to use is localhost. Click done. After a few seconds, it will resolve, and we can double click on this to join right on in. Here we are in game. You can see it on the left hand side. And how do you add mods to this server? Well, in order to add mods, you're going to need to download some. So we can go and search up Google for some mods. So we can go to Google, just search for Minecraft mods, and we will be able to find CurseForge and Modern. These are the most popular places to download Minecraft mods from. You can actually filter them. So on Modern, we can filter 1.21.6 Forge, for example. And these are all of the mods that we could install here. Let's go ahead and grab Simple Voice Chat. So if we click on that, we can go to Versions. And we want, again, the Forge 1.21.6 version. And we can download that there. Now, this needs to be on the server and locally, as I said, in order for it to work. We can also go to Curse Forge and filter here as well. For example, Forge and then game version 1.21.6. Simple Voice Chat's over here as well, for example. But we can install these on the server by going and closing out of Minecraft. We also want to stop the server. Come over here and type stop, right like so, and hit enter. And then once we've done that, we can 
close out of it and open our server folder. What we want to do is take any Minecraft mods that we've downloaded and add them into the mods folder on our server, right like so. It's that easy, but we're not done. Right click on this mod and click on copy. Then open up the Minecraft launcher. And in the Minecraft launcher, go to installations, hover over forge, and click the folder icon. Then find your mods folder and add any mods you added to the server here as well. Your friends will also need to do this on their Minecraft client in the exact same way. You'll just need to make sure they download the mods that you've added to the server. Now we go ahead and play Minecraft using Forge and we can start our server using that run.bat file again. That's how we're always going to be starting our server. Once everything is online, we're in Minecraft, joining will mean the simple voice chat is active. Now at this point, your friends actually can't join your server. For them to be able to join, you will need to do a thing called port forwarding. We can see simple voice chat is active in the bottom left. We can click V to set up, it goes through the guide, all of that stuff. But your friends to join, you will need to port forward, basically meaning you will need to open a port on your network. There's a complete guide on Minecraft port forwarding, which you can find in the description, but you can also just Google the breakdown port forwarding, and you will be able to find our in-depth guide on port forwarding specifically for Minecraft servers. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comments. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We'll see you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.